Y guay, difícil. Um, do wanna do wanted to do another um, end of the ten review this morning. Got my coffee. Still drinking some Honduran, hundred um, percent Arabic uh, beans that we got from Aldi. It's a pretty pretty decent, uh, pretty good coffee. I like it. You know, smoking out of my um, Viking Classic Bjarne Calabash. I'm smoking um, sale regular. I got this pouch. Um, last Father's Day, I think, when uh, Pipes and Cigars they're doing, they do like these different uh, deals for around the holidays and stuff, and. Um, Sometimes you pick a pipe and then two tobaccos and an accessory or I think the most recent one I saw was um, Missouri Meerschaum. You could pick two pipes and a tobacco for like 35 bucks or something like that, which is seemed pretty good deal to me. I didn't look at the pipes though. I'm kind of curious on what, what kind of core cobs they have. Cause there are some cobs that are 20 to 30, you know, depending on the uh, stem material. Um, so I'll read the description real quick. <clears throat> it says, Sale Regular is a well-balanced blend. Burley and Virginia tobaccos in perfect harmony are the basis, enriched by a selection of Oriental and Brazilian tobaccos. Now, I brought up the tobacco reviews, and it's a, it does come in a broken flake, uh, blended by Scandinavian Tobacco Group. It's a Scottish blend. And yeah, Virginia and there is some Cavendish in there. This is a original Dutch Cavendish. Pipe's gurgling on me now. Um, no flavoring. I smoked this a lot uh, in the summertime. It seemed really nice um, summer smoke. Um, I think it's you know it comes in the pouch, so it's perfect just to throw in your bag or pocket or wherever with a corn cob or something when you're going hiking or fishing or something like that. Or driving around running errands or whatever. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is kind of like, maybe, I think this would be considered like a codger blend. Maybe for like an, it's <clears throat> like Captain Black and, uh, Prince Albert and stuff, Carter Hall, they're all like considered cod like codger blends in the U.S. And so I think this might be like a codger blend for like another country or something. I don't know. I feel like this would go um, a lot better with tea rather than coffee. I've been drinking a lot of tea lately, and uh, usually at night or something. I feel like uh, Virginia's go really well with tea and uh, more burly blends and some Latakia blends and stuff would go better with uh, coffee, but I don't know. So, a little life update, I guess. Um, I didn't mention this. 
many videos before, but I've uh, I lost my job um, a couple weeks ago, which is a bummer. I really enjoyed really enjoyed the place I worked at and enjoyed what I was doing there. And uh, I mean, there's more more to it, I guess. I'm not gonna go into like super deep details and stuff, but. Basically, I just I screwed up some stuff and and it just sucks, you know. I, looking back, I wish uh what wish I would have been paying attention to what I was doing, I guess. Oh, but make mistakes and you kind of just move on, I guess. Um, but good news is I did uh, had an interview this week. I did it for another company. And I got an email this morning with a, an offer. And I um, accepted. So my start date uh, isn't until the 20th, which is International Pipe Smoking Day. So kind of funny. And um, yeah, kind of, I mean, Looking forward to having maybe another week off because it's kind of like it's almost like a I don't know vacation that I'm forced to take. <laughs> um, but it's been kind of nice just hanging, you know. I've been around the kids a ton, just being able to wake up and have a cup of coffee and pipe and still been reading a lot. Um, Still on the system, on the right track for this year as far as books I want to read. I found a uh, website called thriftbooks.com, which is kind of, it's almost as bad as smokypipes.com for me. <laughs> but, anyways, yeah, so. Looking forward to the new company. Um, seems it's not going to be as high stress, I guess, as what I was doing. Same field. The last facility I was at was kind of high stress in some ways, and I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, check out uh, check out sale. It's uh, it's worth trying. I mean, if you like Virginias, um, it might. I'm not really sure what Brazilian leaf tastes like. So I was reading uh, Jim Inks um, review. To see if maybe he says something about the um, Brazilian leaf. <clears throat> but no, he, he nothing about the uh, the Brazilian leaf. But he mentioned it being kind of woody and citrusy and. I'm starting to pick up more on the citrus notes a little bit. But pretty good tobacco to, to give a shot. I think it's it's a you know, definitely a good all day smoke, just packing your pipe while you're out doing something. I mean hardly any uh any tending to, you know, light it twice and Tamp it a couple of times while you're smoking it, and had I mean I have no issues with it <clears throat> staying lit or anything. So it's in the pouch. I mean I've had this in the pouch since last year Father's Day, so June, July, June, and still been pretty moist, like perfect uh, moisture level. Nothing. I can't remember how it was when I first got it. I feel like it was kind of. I mean, I feel like there hasn't been much change with the uh, 
the moisture. Now the other tobacco that I got with it is a different story. I ended up having to put it in a jar and spritz some distilled water on the on the lid and close it off and put it away. I might do something with that later. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Um, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.